Peter, where are we with the, uh, the journey of 5G that we've been on? I think we're at the halftime show. The first half characterized very much by uh, mobile broadband, uh, converting 4G smartphones to 5G smartphones, and fixed wireless access, which I think has been a runaway success which, which I don't think anyone expected three years ago. Yeah, but there was also, and, and let's be honest, there was this kind of trough of disillusionment period uh, from carriers uh, around 5G. They thought, oh, we'll add more capacity, we'll charge people for more capacity, and it didn't really work out like that. I think that the, what, what happened in the first half, and the consumer application was very much driving the build out of the network. Mm. So now when you have the network built out, it's a lot easier to go to enterprise and saying, hey, the network that already exists, you can start taking advantage of it. Uh, mm. And you can take it advantage of it in ways that you perhaps haven't thought about before. Mm. Because not everybody believe or understand or clearly see what you can do for enterprise applications. Mm. Uh, they understand what you can do for your smartphone. But what it, exactly what it can do for business is, is takes a little bit more imagination, mm. tell, takes a little bit more seeing examples, what someone has done in a different industry, why don't we do that in our industry? Right. And that's where I think uh, where we are a little bit right now and why the second half will be more exciting. So we have to create the case studies. We have to create the case studies. Here in North America, the really exciting innovation phase is ahead of us. Yeah. Now when everybody can see, okay, networks are there. Yeah. What can we do with them to take f f full advantage of yes. it? So how are we going to use 5G in a factory or in a warehouse or in a sports venue or something like mm. that? And then the discussing from what are the exact things going on there that you, we could improve with, um, with 5G. So you can say that there's two things going on. The first thing is that we, we need to understand way more about the enterprises that a network serves. Mm. So thinking about very much in my role about my customer's customer uh, and seeing that, well, how does this change for an enterprise? And mm. that is very, very different from, uh, from different enterprise sectors. Some countries are doing better at that shift than others. I mean, China is obviously uh, an acknowledged mm. leader in digitizing industry. Um, you know, uh, Sweden is doing uh, very well as well as uh, Singapore, Brazil. Uh, the US and the UK uh, they talk a good talk, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, you know, it, actually they're miles behind. So I think it's, it's important to find a basic recipe for the first two, three things. Mm. That is uh, what 5G can make a difference for an industry mm. and then gradually both scale it out in terms of locations or, mm. and then scale the type of innovations that you serve. When one industry go early out and show the value, then you can, it's easy to steal that from other industries that mm. are facing a similar challenge. And I think that is something that we're going to see a lot of now in the second half with industries stealing from each other um, and, and taking the learnings from someone who's already gone through it and proven that it works. Yeah.